I've had an idea and it's probably not going to work. It solely relies on the weather and I'm praying for rain, which seems crazy to say that. So I've been thinking, why would anyone tune in to my videos and watch me do the exact same thing time after time? Walk up a hill, put a tent up, boil some water, drone shot in the morning, back to the car. A lot of the top YouTubers really deserve to be where they are because they've got really likeable personalities and they're interesting to watch. So what does someone do that hasn't got a personality? <laughs> I'm going to have to think outside the box. Let's have some decent music on a video for once. If I get a copyright strike and it gets taken down, then I'll just edit it out. If it just means that I'm not going to make any money on this video, let's do it. Cue the music. Turn it up. Get on your dancing shoes. There's one thing on your mind. Open that looking for you. Sure, you'll be rummaging through. Oh, and the shit show the horror. You've seen your future bright. Yeah, but it's so, so absurd. For you to say the first word. So you're waiting and waiting and. Gentlemen, the Van Gogh Mirage 200 Pro. This tent has really been well loved and well used. I could probably put it up with my eyes closed now. I've had it for that long. And she is showing all mileage, the old girl, but she's still standing. Freestanding. Freestanding. <laughs> yeah it's been a brilliant tent as this it was i always liked camping but i used to borrow my dad's tents when i was younger and uh this was the first tent that i ever owned uh, my dad got me it for my birthday it was around about lockdown i think and i was on a real kick of wanting to try wild camping watching like hairs outdoors and Paul Messner and all that lot and uh, I wanted something that would be sort of reasonably lightweight but I mean this is like 3.2 kg so it's not ultra light but there's not as many compromises with this the only compromise is the weight because it's a reasonable price tent but also this has stood up to some right batterings as this tent. Some pretty severe weather in Lake District in, uh, oh, I can't tell you where it was, but <laughs> in the Lake District. Uh, 
thought you said you could put this up with your eyes closed. Well, what's that sag about? It's had wind, rain, snow. Uh, I can't be bothered putting clips from all my other videos with all those different weather conditions. But if you are a true Robology fan through and through, then you'll have seen them. I think my very first video was camping in this tent in the garden <laughs> as like a trial run for wild camping. Sorry, as a trial run. My head is fresh today. As a trial run to actually go wild camping, I wanted to put it up in garden and like have a little practice. And really deep down, I was putting it off and putting it off because I was terrified, to be honest. Um, now look at me, wandering around on my own, talking to myself. Right, this isn't the thing that I said that I've got planned for this video. I've got like a bit of a gimmicky thing to try and make this video a bit different. I'm not doing clickbait titles. I'm not camping on a roundabout. So for me, I ain't got the personality of Hayes or Paul Messner. So just wait until, wait until you see what I have got that will make up for it. <laughs> and you will I mean you won't be disappointed there's still a ticket on this from when we did Three Peaks uh, home farm campsite Horton in Ribblesdale it's got ash on it from the very few camps that I've had where we could have fires like the Candy Corner Bushcraft Place it's got a few minor little marks and stuff on it, but it, it has took some abuse. Hey up. I think I started YouTube about three or four years ago. Uh, not sure how many camps I've done in this, but you could easily count them up because they'll all be on here. Look, there's a mark there. No idea what that is and an odd little bit of ash and stuff, but she's still looking well. If I had to critique this tent, which I wouldn't like to do because I love her, <laughs> I'd say two improvements that could have been made on it. It's not like they're going to remake it, is it? There's loads of tents actually coming out now that look similar to this. There's that blue one. <laughs> oh yeah, that blue one, yeah, I know which one you mean. There's there's that blue one that looks similar to that, it's like the Cloud 1UP 2000 Pro or something. I don't know, you lot will know the shape of that tent, you'll have probably seen it. Anyway, what were I talking about? Yeah, oh look, there's another mark there. Bless you. It's still waterproof. And it better be because I'm hoping for rain today. But yeah, the two improvements, what I, could, I would say they could make on this tent is these vents, there's no like little Velcro thing to prop up there. Do you know what I mean? To hold that bit up. It's Velcro, which is the other thing that can be a bit annoying about this tent. And it's these on the storm flap. You tend to find when you try to unzip it, it's a bit annoying, especially if you try to do it with one hand because you're like that, and then you, you get to that and you're like, oh. so like with one hand, you get as far as all the Velcro bits and then you have to undo them. Oh, don't look in there yet, I'll get excited. And again, look, oh yeah, it's got um, two ways it. Well, as you can see, I got snagged on that again. So you just have to be a bit careful with her. It's a little mod I made because <laughs> when you if you open that side of the door no so if you open this side of the door you can fold it all the way over and clip that carabiner on that guy line instead of having to roll the door up top tips right they're the only cons I'm gonna set up and uh, show you this mod that I've got in plan I've got in planned <laughs> oh how I'm making a video today, I don't know, because even driving here with dangerous, I'm that sort of scatterbrained and like just frazzled for some reason. The sun's going to be setting, obviously, over there, <laughs> but it should rise there. So 
my mod might come into play there as well. Anyway, I'm going to get moved in because I'm getting cold, so bring you back. I hate that when people say that. <sighs> Beautiful sunset over Penny again. I shit my mic. <laughs> <clears throat> Beautiful sunset over Penny Ghent. <laughs> it's better that though, isn't it? Is it? I think that's Penny Ghent, isn't it? God, Rob, you call yourself a Yorkshireman. Yeah, that's Penny Ghent. That's Ingleborough. Right over there, so you still don't know where I am. I'm still not telling you. There we are, look. That's my setup for tonight. Every time I get that tent out and open that door and get inside, I can't help but have a massive smile on my face. I don't know. I am kind of like that with all tents. Even if it's in garden, I'll get in it. I'm like, <laughs> that's my tripod, actually. Some of you were asking, nobody asked, how tall it'd go. So that's how tall it goes. And uh, let me see if I can. <laughs> Professional. Right, you you just stay like that. So while my assistant's holding the camera, I'll just show you how easy it is to put it down. I think I'm studying sheep shit because I can smell some it. Yep, I am. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. It's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy I can't even do it. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. There you go. Tiny that, innit? But you didn't come here to see that. You came here to see this. Look at that. For a vestibule. For this bule. No one cares about that. But yeah, look, it's massive inside. And what I always do, instead of having my uh, sleeping pad right in the middle, I always push it right to the side before I go to sleep. And then I've got loads of space there to just uh, sit on that foil mat. And like, you know, so you don't have to be like sat on your bed to do activities and stuff. Look at that, my electricals aren't in a bag this time. Two leads, power bank, and I'm not even going to do it. Got a cigar for later, and I am definitely going to have that tonight, I think. Got my two O bulbs up there, look. The storage on this tent's here. So look, there's pockets up there. There's two there. And there's two at the other side as well. And this pocket here is brilliant for just stuffing the door into it. That's the other thing I love about this tent is that massive circular door that you can zip all the way around. It's there. And then instead of having to mess about and roll it up with non-elasticated toggles, you can just stuff it into that. Rabbi sent 1100 today because it's supposed to be pretty cold and to be fair, my catchphrase is coming up. It has dropped and it were nice to get that tent up and get out of wind. Not crazy wind, but whoa, the sky's really changed now. Look at that, no filter. Hashtag no filter. Quick, let's put a filter on it. Right, so I've kept you hanging long enough. What is this gimmick that I've got in store? Well, it all started about a year ago and well, I'll let you see for yourself. Bring back plastic windows on tents, that's what I say. What do you reckon? Nice little window there. Come on, Illyberg. Do you ever wish you'd just not bothered with something? That ain't gonna work. I should have maybe stuck it up inside there and to the back of there. Instead on the outside. But then again, would you get loads of water coming in? 
I don't know, but I do know that that's not worked. Right, I think I'm getting somewhere now. Only thing is I had to remove these toggles from the inner, but it should go up into that. Oh, <laughs> that was right in my tooth. Progress. So that's how far I've got so far. I've got to go pick my girlfriend up from train station cause she's been working in London while I've been doing this. Get your priorities straight. Good thing about freestanding tents is that if you have to chuck it in the garage to go pick your girlfriend up, you can do. Might be freestanding, but it's probably not going to fit through there. I'm coming, babe. Sorry, I'm late. I was um... sorry, I was late. So another day has passed and I've thought of nothing else but sticking a piece of plastic to the front of my tent except for a 10 hour working day with an hour commute either side and a weekly shop. It's now 7 o'clock, I've not even had my tea but let's finish what we started. But I have noticed that one of these has already come off so, so this whole thing Probably going to be a waste of time, but you can't say I give up easy. Right then, and let's see what we can do with this pointless idea. Finished, finally. What can I say about it? Well, it looks like shit and it's definitely not going to work. So, all in all, time well spent. That took a lot longer than it should have done call myself a welder fabricator. I can't even stick a bit of plastic to a tent. <laughs> I sound really negative. Let's try put a positive spin on it. Um, well, water will definitely be able to get in there, there, and there, and there. But it won't get in them free. So really it's a success. I was going to cut the excess off, but let's face it, what's the point? <laughs> God, you're so negative, bro. Get this stuck back up there without shattering your teeth. Oh. Aha. The image that I had in my mind when I thought I could put a big plastic window on the front of my tent and then have like an ASMR style video of all the raindrops just running down it with a proper sick view out there with me just sat up against it like Joey in Friends. That's the image I had in my mind. So we're going to do it. I don't care if it leaks. I don't care if it weighs a ton. I don't care if most people have already turned this video off. Let's get this tent somewhere decent with that piece of shit on front of it all else fails i'll just rip it off throw it in a lake or strangle a swan with it or something and then uh we'll just go normal camping never give up and your dreams will come true <laughs> it actually worked though that's pretty cool isn't it all we need now is a bit of rain. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Should I have a bit of mood lighting? Or is it a bit early to be wasting batches? Who cares, man? Look at it. There's a little flap here, what you can't see, what actually falls down. So it's all covered out here. You're actually propped up on my pillow, but I can, in fact, It looks like sort of all right, doesn't it? Like if you took a picture of that and put it on Insta, 
everyone would think you're a genius. <laughs> but then they don't see all the little flaws which I've shown you. <gasps> so I can literally lay here with my 60 quid inflatable pillow. <laughs> oh my God. This is glamping people. <laughs> I know I'm such a geek, but come on, you've got to give me some respect for this. You've got to at least give me a like. Just lie here until it falls off and suffocates me in my sleep. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Are you having a beer with me? Can you actually see me there? Let's just check for this quality content. Yep. And my mic's on. Just. i just keep changing it side for you as well, just for a bit of variety. <laughs> We're going for a big hitter. Oh my God, I've just messed up my porch. <laughs> Stay. It's better on that side, I think. This one's Heaven by Northern Monk. I've never tried this one. Um, it's 7.2%. Can's quite cool, but it says an unha <laughs> an unhazy an unholy hazy IPA, amped up with heavy hitting hops for a flavour that defies belief. And it says best served as cold as the north. To the north, don't you dare go on my sleeping bag. To the north, guys, and to you, my loyal subscribers. I don't like that. To the north and to you guys, thanks for tuning in on an, and watching this drivel. This this is like raw. This is what most YouTubers do, I bet. To the north and to Windows Intense. Bring back Windows Intense. Who's with me? I don't like that. 60 quid armrest. Yes, I might even blaze a cigar in here just to like say bon voyage to her. That's total wrong. Yeah, just to give her a proper send off, even though I'm not sending her off anywhere. Oh, it's so cool, man. Like I can actually see and like imagine if it were raining now and all water just trickling down there. That's the stuff that dreams are made of, isn't it? It is mine anyway. Oh, there's a lovely little dip in floor here as well, what just nicely fits my bum. And I am definitely oversharing, so I think there's something decent to show you. Apart from that, that's pretty decent, isn't it? How you can clip your open beer into that so you don't fall over. Stand with your brothers. There you go, look. Just imagine you're lying on that. It's cool until a sheep inevitably pops its head round the corner of that opening and absolutely terrifies me. Turn noise cancelling off, see if you can hear it. That sounds like a quad bike. It is a quad bike. It's bringing back my first wild camp vibes when I was sat in tent light. What was that? One of the reasons why I leave a lot of the absolute drivel and like the the my f ups loads of youtubers cut it out so there's a thing of like you might watch other youtubers and think god they're so smooth and that and they're so cool and like they know exactly what to say and they're just so much cooler than me or i could never do that or whatever anyone can do it i'm an absolute blithering idiot is blithering even a word See what I mean? All, all these videos are chopped so much that it can make anyone look good. I don't know who it makes me look good like, but just just don't be... What I'm trying to say is don't be down on yourself. Like, everyone is the same. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure you can do things that other people can't do. And uh, if you're feeling down, we all get like that. As I said, like, my, my head's a bit thrashed. I've always struggled on and off. 
uh, just with like minor things, not being able to switch off and just feeling down on myself and that. So you're not the only one, that's what I'm trying to say. You just need to be careful what advice you listen to on YouTube because anyone can do this and make it look like they know what they're talking about and say, this is the sleeping bag for you, you need to buy this, or this is what I do, so everyone should do it. Nobody should be sticking a piece of plastic to the front of the tent because it's stupid, because it's pointless. But I did it, but I'm not saying that everyone has to do it. <laughs> Right, it's cloudy, so there's no stars, and it's not raining, and quite frankly, that's terrifying. <laughs> what a wuss, but yeah, I don't like the fact that stuff can see in, and I can't see out. Welcome back to the palace. So just after I closed the doors up, because it was pitch black, it started to rain, which if it were a couple of hours earlier, it would have been nice, but never mind. We have just been editing the video and just chilling. As you can see, it is absolutely freezing now. So I've literally got everything on. I've got my uh, merino wool leggings on. I've got my heat holder socks over a normal pair of socks under a pair of down booties why do I keep calling him booties surely he can just say boots <laughs> it's a lot more masculine isn't it when it is really really cold they, they don't help at all it was my birthday recently so I've got a few new items like the bag, what you've probably noticed, and something that I don't have with me today, ultra lone peak eights. So my mum kindly got me them. So I can't wait to use them, but it depends what sort of weather we're having because they're not waterproof or anything. So today I've got my proper hiking boots, my leather lowers. The original Osprey Exos 48 is supposed to be brilliant, like loads of people uh, go on about how good they are. I didn't have the original, I had the one after that, which was that orange one that you've seen on every single one of my camps. That's how good they are, like, I use it on every camp. And uh, anyway, my dad got me, my dad and his girlfriend got me the Exos 48, and I think it's like the 2024 version. And I thought that this one was exactly the same as my old one. On the first use, I've already discovered quite a lot of differences with it. Hip belt pockets, got a few extra sort of attachments on the outside of it. One of the major differences, which I'm really happy about, massive improvement because it doesn't have that curve, it's just straight down, which means you can fit a lot more in I it. think it is time. to get in the bag oh i don't know why i think ever since i had the actor when i'm in a tent i tend to no matter how big the tent is like this is huge like you can't actually see the roof but i tend to sort of sit there like that because i'm used to being in the actor the solo is like you can sit like that but in this i can actually you could kneel up and my head's not even touching the roof. But I'm just sort of like that. And there's like loads of room around me. Time's getting on, I think. What time are we on? One o'clock. So I think I'm going to jump in the bag. Hopefully morning I can get you the obligatory drone shot and uh, maybe a sunrise. The main thing we want is a bit of rain. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's raining. 
So obviously I've just placed everything like this for the thumbnail. Bit of product placement there for you. <laughs> That's Instagram if you ever saw it. So that rubber scent 1100 is a massive thick sleeping bag. So it takes up loads and loads of room in your pack and when I first took it out I was like this is like the only thing I can fit in my bag. Look at the size of that. And like I pushed that down pretty hard as you saw but look that's massive. So there's your dry bag. But it's also got that attached to it. A compression sack thing. That's actually a grab handle as well, which is more useful than you'd think. It really does come in handy when you try to pull it out of your bag and stuff. So yeah. <coughs> so yeah, definitely worth getting yourself one of them. <laughs> as you can see, I'm packing up. By the way, whoa, that's slippy. By the way, my name's Rob. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, hopefully you'll tune into some of my other ones if I make it over this thing alive. Peace guys, thanks for watching. You deserve a medal for sticking around till now. I appreciate it. Is it worth it, Rob? Definitely not.